It's that time of the year. It's been another big year here at Backyard Tech. We're going to wrap up the year for 2020. I want to thank everybody who supported the channel. Even though, yet again, I've been kicked in the guts all year by, funnily enough, the know-it-all experts. Let's wrap up the year. This is the Backyard Tech Vlog. Hey, how's it going? Thank you for tuning in. It is Christmas Day, the 25th of December, 2020. And it is the final, well, I should say the annual final vlog for the year. We haven't done a vlog for a long time either. They too were unpopular, apparently. We're going to wrap the year up. And uh, also, I want to thank everyone who supported Old Mate here at Backyard Tech this year. But as always, as is tradition here at Backyard Tech, for every vlog, It's Friday morning, it's Christmas morning. Merry Christmas to everybody. But the most important thing you can do this morning, coffee time. Oh, what a year, hey? Let's face it, 2020 has been a complete fucker of a year, hasn't it? It has been a shit of a year for everybody. People losing jobs, businesses going bust, governments flailing, not sure how to do, China trying to rot the bloody world out. What a prat of a year, eh? And if like old mate, you do suffer mental health problems of which I do know some of my friends do, it's been very difficult. Even the other half has struggled herself. It's been, Jesus. I, look, I didn't even think, when I was born in 1980, I'd never foreshadowed anything like this ever happening. Unless you're in the socialist dictatorship communist state of Victoria. We'll be the rust buck of the country again, you can guarantee it. Anyway, we're going to wrap the year up. Um... Obviously, the year here at Backyard Tech started out brilliant, everything, and then yet again kicked in the guts towards the end of the year by rumour, innuendo, and nastiness. Uh, channel not being popular, no one really watching, all this type of stuff. And yet somehow I've ended up with over 4,000 subs. Being told that sort of stuff hurt. And that's why I'm not around anymore, because, as has been said, no one really watches the channel. And yet I have 4,000 subs. Um, people watch the videos they're interested in. That's why I cover a wide range of topics. The funny thing is, this is interesting, the know-it-all experts, once I start talking about pro audio, seem to get confused. I thought the whole idea of a know-it-all expert is you know everything. And yet they don't seem to understand the difference between DBVU, DBFS and DBLP. Or if you start talking about, you know, signal chains through SSL or Neve or Harrison mixing desks. They seem to go, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you're not a know-it-all expert. Think about it. One thing I do want to highlight, guys, and I will bring this this up now, if I can get it to work. There we are. 4,145 subscribers. And I want to thank everyone for their support this year. Um, it hasn't been an easy year, and I've got to admit, and I really do admit, I've missed making videos every day. Um, I've missed making the news videos, the odd news, the bizarre news, the, ba the breaking news videos. I've missed doing. There's plenty of operating systems out there that I've wanted to look at. Haven't done them. Um, hardware stuff, software stuff, all that type of stuff. But being disillusioned by, you know, being told that no one watches the channel, it's not popular enough and... There are some people out there who would love nothing more than for me to shut down Backyard Tech. 
but having built the channel, I did think about it. I did think about shutting down my entire YouTube platform. But I've put so much work into it, it'd be a bit of a waste if I did. Trust me, I came close. Not just shutting down Backyard Tech, but shutting down my other channel as well. I had considered it. I decided against it because um, I've put too much work in to just throw it all away. People have asked, where are the convos? No point if no one's watching. Where are the news videos? Where's your vlogs? I gotta think about them. I'd like to do them again. I'd like everything, I'd like to make videos every day again like I did earlier this year. But if people don't want them, what's the point in having them? Um, I do miss making videos every single day. The thing is, I'm not, I don't go around criticizing people. That's not in my nature. Yes, I've had a go at a few people this year for stupid and dumb things. Probably a little too harsh. Maybe harsher than I probably should have gone. But I just love the fact that, you know, you get told by people, oh, do it my way. Well, I don't want to do it your way. I want to do it my way. I'm not here on YouTube to show you how to do things. I'm here on YouTube to show you how I do things to get whatever I want to get done, done. But I do want to thank all 4,145 subscribers for your support throughout this year. Um, I did get an email from YouTube congratulating me on the channel. And not just how the channel's going in performance, but the fact that it's grown, that I've put work into it, I've put hard work into it. I'm doing stuff on the community page now, all this type of stuff. Um, I'd love to go back and do IT videos, but I'm not... You know, I, I've got to be honest, I do miss making the IT stuff. You know, I've had Jim Acklaw plead with me to do some of his videos, same with Paul Turner. But the know-it-all experts are the ones that seem to want me to do all the shit I'm not interested in. So I want to thank everybody uh, for your support this year. Because it has been... At least I know people do want to see videos. I have had some friends ask me about the convos. When are they coming back? Sometime next year. It depends on what people decide they want me to do the 80 series videos will be around obviously the hardware stuff for the pro audio stuff um you know all that sort of stuff will still be around we'll hopefully get my main pc rebuilt next year to a usable state um but you know just being told that the channel's not popular and no one watches was a complete kick in the guts it really was. The other thing I want to have a pot shot at too. I'm not going to be mean about it. I'm not going to be nasty. And I'm not going to name names. But those of you out there who said that ZFS would absolutely change everything for me. Are a pack of liars. Let me explain. What you haven't seen of late, because no one watches, is some problems I've been having with the 720XD. I've lost a couple of two and a half inch hard drives of late. Um, not in succession. Uh, luckily, I had, a, I had a couple of spare Dell hard drives to put back in. The upside to ZFS is, I agree with the statement, the data integrity is better. I give you that, it's fantastic, no problem. Where's this supposed massive improvement in speed and throughput that I was supposed to get doing a soft raid? I haven't got it. On a one gig network, I am still getting 125 megabit transfer speed to a uh, uh, Z2. Where, where is it? Even trunked, I still get two gigabit, which is exactly what I was getting with a hardware raid. So I grant you the data integrity is better. I haven't had the errors I would have had 
when replacing hard drives under a hardware RAID. Okay, I give you that. But what I'm not accepting is the supposed huge improvement in my network's file sharing abilities. I'm still getting 125 megabit, megabytes or one gig per second. So 125 megabits per, megabytes, I'm sorry, per second or one gig. So I haven't got this supposed fantastic software raid that everyone said I'd get. Data integrity and everything, I grant you, less errors. What I don't grant you is it would make my sand system fly. Well, it hasn't. I am still getting the same throughput back and forth as I would with a hardware RAID 5. So a complete soft RAID 5, right, on storage, and I'm only getting 125 megabytes per second or one gig. Where's this massive 150 megabytes per second? Even under a trunked two gig, I'm still getting 250 megabytes per second or two gigabit. So it's made no difference in the throughput, none. But the data integrity, yes. I've had less rebuild errors than I would under a hardware RAID. I grant you that, you got no arguments from me on that. But you have got arguments from me on the fact of, I have not seen this enormous performance throughput that people said I would get. I haven't seen it. And remember, I'm not using Windows, it's, it's Linux. It's a Linux-based ZFS. It's RAID Z2, which essentially is like RAID 5. So I trashed the whole of my Oz Nexus server to gain nothing other than proving I can do ZFS, which seems to be a lot of what has to happen. I have to prove it. And then I get people saying, oh, well, we know you can. Oh, so you can do it. All right, well, now that we know you can do it, do whatever. Give me a break. So apart from that, I think we can honestly say this year's been a shit. And I don't know anyone who won't be happy about this year ending. I think everyone will be. Um, Australia, look, we've done, we're probably fortunate. We haven't had the massive problems the rest of the world has had. But that's not to say states haven't suffered. The only states that haven't suffered dramatically are, well, the entire country other than us in New South Wales. We've borne the brunt of the second and third waves of the pandemic. Uh, no other state in Australia, has, South Australia sort of did, but that was due to a lie and they locked down without knowing everything. But the rest of the country is actually freewheeling, basically. It's only us and us Victorians in New South Wales that are up shit creek without a paddle and going backwards quickly. One of my friends in Sydney, you'll know exactly what I mean. Um, so next year, if people want, and I can already say it now, the know-it-all experts will want me to shut the channel down. That's the first thing. The know-it-all experts will want me to stop making videos regularly. That's the second thing. But this isn't for you know-it-all experts out there. This is for my viewers who are actually interested in what I do, okay? If you want Backyard Tech to go back to what it was, let me know, all right? If you want it back to the way it was, where we're doing news, breaking news, bizarre news, AV, IT, 80 series, all that type of stuff, rants, convos, let me know. And I'll bring it back. If you don't, we'll continue with, I will upload randomly. So, there we go. Now, one thing I do want to say is... I am taking away, well, I am take. We, we leave for Bendigo tonight, okay? I am taking this up with me, all right? I'm taking the video camera with me. I don't know that I'll get out on the tracks while I'm up there. I do have some pro audio and IT work while I'm up in Bendigo. I've got some work on the 80 series I've got to do. I'm taking up a laptop that I sh might, I might be able to put some videos together and get them out maybe don't bank on it but i might be able to get some videos out if not 
I'll put them all together when I come home. I won't be home till the 3rd of January. I know what all experts are like, good, right now we can get rid of him, we can say what we like and he'll never come back to YouTube. They'd love nothing more than that. They beat me with the e-server. They may beat me with this. Um, so, uh, I am going to be making videos. I don't have, well, I've got a couple of IT things to do, but, um, I probably won't be able to show them for privacy. I might be able to show the hardware, but probably not the software stuff. Um, I've got some pro audio stuff up there as well, and some 80 series stuff and some highlights stuff to do too. So I'm up there until the third of Jan. The other half's gonna be up and back, up and back, up and back throughout next week because she didn't get any annual leave this year, unfortunately. Um, so there's that. Now, I want to say this honestly, all right? And I am honest. I want to thank all 4,000 plus subs for your support this year. I want to thank my dear friends who I have here on YouTube for their support as well. Um, and as I said, I want each and every one of you to have a very safe and happy Christmas or Merry Christmas. Um, a great break. And if you're like old mate and your year has been really bad, I would advise having a few drinks on New Year's Eve. <laughs> <coughs> I will be, trust me. So I want you to enjoy today. Uh, I, as I said, I leave tonight for Bendigo. Um, we'll have Christmas up there and I will be, you can get me on email or comments, I'll be around. But basically, thank you to everyone for your support this year. Thank you to all of those who have enjoyed the content and those who've abused the living shit out of me. Um, but most importantly, I will be here next year um, because I want to be. You know, I mean, I, I enjoy it. I love it. I love making videos and sharing stuff with everybody. What I don't do is criticize everybody for everything. And as, as a comment was once on a video was put, it's not like it's a computer science channel. I just enjoy showing people what I can do with what I have around the house, what I can use my PCs for, what you can do all that. I'm not interested in getting all scientific on it. I just love making videos showing you guys what I can do with what I've got. So there we go. Anyway, I do. I also want to thank um, a lot of people who have supported me of late and pleading with the channel to return to normal. And if that's what viewers want, then I will return the channel to normal. Regular convos every night, news, tech news, breaking news, odd news, SSPR, AD series stuff, audio, pro audio, home audio. I will bring it back if that's what people want. All right. If they don't, then it'll just stay sporadic like it does. Which I think, for the know it all experts out there, they would rather I don't exist at all. And I guarantee you they will comment and say, POQ, we don't want you on YouTube anymore. Um, Thanks to Pseudo and English Bob Steve. I want both of you and Paul Turner, Jim Acklaw, all of you to have fantastic Christmases over there in the UK. I am thinking of you guys. And for anyone who um, I haven't managed to catch either Pseudo or Steve's streams of late, uh, Paul, if you could let them know for me, mate, and all my UK viewers, my US viewers, same goes for you. Please have a very safe Christmas and a very happy new year. Hopefully you guys have a better year. Same with my UK and European viewers. And uh, let's hope we have a better year next year. Really hope. But anyway, there we go. Um, whatever you're planning on doing for the rest of the day, enjoy yourselves. Please don't do anything to put your life in danger. Um, and for those of you here in Victoria, 
yes, I will be extra careful driving up to Bendigo tonight. <coughs> it's um, it's Christmas Day. The traffic's... I was just upstairs before I started coming down to make this to make another cuppa. And the traffic out on Bellarine Highway is nothing like what I've ever seen. It's only five past nine Christmas morning here, and it's like a normal Monday morning out on Bellarine Highway. People going everywhere for breakfast and everything. There we go. The year done. Thank you to everybody who has supported me. If you want the channel to return to normal, comment down below. Um, and if that's the case, I will return Backyard Tech to what it was. Uh, undoubtedly, the know it all experts will comment and say, get the hell off YouTube. We don't want you around anymore. They may beat me. They beat me with the e-server. They may beat me with this too. But anyway, to everyone out there, have a very safe and happy Christmas. Merry Christmas to everybody. Have a very safe and happy new year. And if you have had a year like I've had, well, then I would suggest you have a couple of quiet drinks on New Year's Eve to uh, rid the memories of this year. I will see you very early next year. Now, I've completely forgotten what I used to say. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. I now remember it. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And until next year, have a good one. Cheers.